60 years ago, the Lego brick was invented here in Billund, Denmark. This piece of plastic has provided millions of people around the world with the building blocks for creative play. Today, Lego is the world's strongest and most valuable toy brand, with several thousand employees. The company's success is a lesson in self-improvement, problem solving and protecting ideas, however small. The original 2x4 Lego brick measures 31.8mm long and 15.8mm wide. It has eight studs in two rows of four. The outside design of the brick hasn't changed since the early 1950s, but underneath the plastic rectangle, there's been significant improvement. The Lego bricks until 1958 were hollow mm -hmm. and they didn't have a lot of clutch power, meaning when you built them together like this, it could stay but it wasn't a very stable building. To give the brick its clutch power, Lego designed three 6.51 mm across hollow tubes under the brick. This allowed the studs to lock together more securely, providing the platform for bigger and more creative builds. The brick's success allowed Lego to expand into other children's entertainment, like video games and films. Awesome! But the billion dollar empire story started here, in this house in a quiet town in Denmark. The company's founder was Olli Kirk Christensen, a carpenter who made wooden toys in the early 1930s. After the Second World War, he began experimenting with plastic toys, and they eventually began selling better than his original creations. By the 1960s, Denmark, along with the rest of Europe, was witnessing a mass relocation of the rural population into towns and cities. They were attracted by more jobs and a better standard of living, Lego's toy sets started to reflect society's increasing urbanization. So this is the current owner, Kjell Christiansen, his sister and his cousin in the garden just outside here, playing with a town plan to learn about road safety. This is one of the first examples of learn while you're playing. It's something that the Lego Foundation, the company's charitable arm, continues to strive for. You learn about how to problem solve, how to quantify, how to put things in place. For children it's quite powerful to have concrete materials to which they can represent abstract ideas they have in their head. While Lego tries to help children learn and tackle problems, the company itself has also faced issues which needed fixing. 20 years ago we had a huge crisis where Lego nearly had to close down. The company attributes their near brush with bankruptcy to a lack of focus, getting distracted by things like video games. So we actually turn back to focusing on this brick because there's no one who can make bricks like we can. This resulted in a sustained period of growth for Lego, but that came to an abrupt halt in 2017 as the company's sales and profits fell for the first time in 13 years, in part because it couldn't sell all the bricks that it had made, which is why the company says it needs another reset. Lego's founder, Oli Kirk Christensen, instilled into the company the idea of having fun. That principle is still alive today inside this brand new building called the Lego House. Hi Stuart, how's it going? Hi Tom, nice welcome to, to uh, Lego House, home of the brick. The Lego House has multiple zones based on the core competences, which they hope can be learned through play. Stuart, a senior experience manager at the Lego House, helped design it. Well, we're in the green zone, and the green zone is all about the, the social development, and there's a lot of humour going on in here, so there's a lot to discover. And you've put yourself in. I have put myself in, yes. Do you want to take a show? Come on, have a look, yeah. Here I am, coming out of the, the English pub. Ah, of course. And you can see a little yellow beetle, because when I first moved to Denmark, I arrived in my little yellow beetle. This one is called the City Architect, um, and it's set in the blue zone, and the blue zone is about problem solving and cognitive skills. So the idea is that you take a different colour plate and each colour plate represents a different component of a city and you add it to the city. And the clever thing is that the city knows what you've added to it. I've got a little park that I'm going to add. I can see these guys here in green. They're looking for a park, so let's, add, let's give them a park. And you can see the table reacts. As a reward, these guys have got uh, tickets for a football match. And you can see they're taking their tickets and they're going to join the, the football match here. And then when we sold enough tickets, the football match comes alive with a great big digital projection show. You build a fish, uh, build a flat fish, and then you take it to a scanning station, you scan your model, and then you can add uh, features to it, eyes and mouth, give it some expressions. 
and then your fish will be launched and become a digital version of the model you made in this giant fish tank. And it will go through different experiences and experience different kind of emotions because we're in the yellow zone and the yellow zone is all about the emotional development. And the red zone represents creativity. Should we go and play? I think so. Okay, shoot off then and dive into the pool. Now this might hurt a little bit. Okay, so go gently. <laughs> <laughs> so we have this giant play pit with an enormous supply of bricks. It's not very quiet in here because there's a... No, it's not. <laughs> so... <laughs> but that's what it's all about. It's about having fun and really, really engaging with the product. 20 seconds, you've got to show off your creation. Oh, God. Make sure you don't grab my foot. Mine's my, my dream home with a roof garden. Lovely. Well, mine is a... Uh, uh, I'm not really sure what it was. Sort of work in progress? Let's call it that. Creating all these Lego pieces and developing them into sets are the job of the company's many designers. Unsurprisingly, their work is focused on what children want to play with, not adults. So we'll test a lot with kids to make sure that they enjoy what we're working on. If something does not like resonate with them, they'll be cut. You see a kid picking up your box, it's just like the warmest, and you're like, I want to cry. <laughs> All the bricks fit together. That is really key to us and to the play experience and to the kids of yesterday, of today and of tomorrow. So that's also why we have such a wide fan base, whether it be like six-year-olds or 60-year-olds. I always thought the Lego that I had growing up was the best ever. And then on year on year for me to be shifting that, saying, well, this year is the best, well, this year is the best. I think that's wonderful to show that a classic building experience can still succeed in today's uh, digital world. So where do these pieces come from? The answer was only five minutes down the road. They're made inside 12 of these manufacturing modules within our 65 moulding machines, all creating millions of Lego pieces. Down here it's about uh, 265 degrees where the material is uh, getting warmed up and melted and then it's injected into the moulds during that, uh, they are cooled down for about uh, three or four seconds, and then you got uh, all whole elements. Oh, it's very warm. Yeah, it's still warm. Apart from the maintenance of the machines, the factories are run autonomously. The pieces are made by complex molding machines and are then transported by robotic vehicles to the shipment area. This efficient operation also doesn't waste any excess plastic in the manufacturing of Lego pieces. It's by the pipe over to the blender where there's also new material and it comes uh, up to, uh, to the moulding machine and gets reheated. LEGO also pledged to find a sustainable replacement for the plastic they use in their pieces by 2030. It's that long-term planning which defines this privately held company. It's helped transform a small workshop into a global enterprise that all began with an original design of a plastic brick. Hi guys, thanks very much for watching. If you'd like to see any more of our videos, then you can check out these. Otherwise, feel free to comment below the video for any suggestions you may have for future videos. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Tack very much.